Good morning, Father Jeff Henry here for Thursday, 14 January for St. Michael Catholic Community at Travis Air Force Base. And I'd like to share with you something for 240 seconds from today's first lesson out of the book of Hebrews, chapter 3, uh, that we have for Mass today. The Holy Spirit says, Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts as at the rebellion in the day of testing in the desert, where your ancestors tested and tried me and saw my works for 40 years. And so the question is, well, what did these Israelites do to provoke the Lord? Well, it's speaking of something out of Exodus 17, the waters of Meribah and Massah. The Lord led the Israelites through Moses as their leader, as their shepherd, as it were, to this place and there was no water and the people were complaining and angry and blaming Moses for this and saying how could you do this because remember the Lord had always delivered them and on all of a sudden they sort of forgot that Moses prays to the Lord and the Lord tells him take your some of your leaders and with your staff where you with which you separated the the Red Sea to get in safety from the Egyptian forces and strike the rock there was a rock and out of the rock came water gushing out that provided all the drink that the Israelites needed. So this comes up again, and it's very common. It's also in our Psalms, this understanding of the waters of Meribah and Massah, where, we t where they tested God and tried him, although they'd seen all of his works. And because of this, the Lord said, they shall not enter into my rest. This is the point. This is what's important for you and me. When things get rough, we don't start blaming God and complaining, but instead we cry out to the Lord and ask for deliverance and keep looking to God, keep trusting God. This is directly related to our experiences right now. A lot of us are getting frustrated. We're getting tired of being secluded. We're uh, frustrated with the way our lives are going with uh, the pol politics and this and that and the other thing. And it's very easy to say, well, the heck with all of this. I'm just giving up. I'm, not, I'm just going to be cynical or angry or whatever. And God says to us today, hold on to your faith and you will enter into the rest that God has for us. That's our calling. It's to remain faithful, full of faith. And with that, it's very encouraging that we do see progress. We have to remember that. And yes, God's not going to miraculously have me with a stick or anybody else and, and strike a rock and that water is going to flow out in a sense. What he wants us to do is to trust him in the hard times and not just give up and go back to just the ways of the world. It's not worth it because God promises a rest. Let's have a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we do ask you that you would help us when we run across our waters of Meribah and Massah, whether it be COVID or politics or frustrations or work or job, or just not being able to pay the bills or a, a sickness, we ask you, Lord, to have mercy and strike that rock in a wonderful way for us that will meet all our needs and grant us peace. And we leave this in your hands, and until that day comes, we believe your promise of the Sabbath rest. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Have a great day, and we'll be talking to you soon.